The purpose of this video is to review how the invoicing function can work uh, in Odoo when orders are shipped and not only that but also how can we have the system prompt us to invoice once all products are shipped, not just some products from an order line. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your product record and you want to look at your products and whichever product you want to wait to invoice until it's been delivered, you want to set on the sales record the invoicing policy to delivered quantities. What that will do is every time you sell that product, Odoo will not prompt you to invoice that product until that product is shipped, until the delivery order has been validated. Now, you'll see in this example, I have that set for product A, B, and C. Now, once we've done that, a normal flow would be once I create my order and add those products and sh confirm it, Odoo will reserve them. However, it will not show in the orders to invoice uh, column until those, or those products have shipped. Now, let's say I have um, two products which I sell and have in stock and a third product which is not in stock, um, but let's say your inventory team delivers the two products, puts the third product on back order. In this scenario, as it is right now, Odoo would, in, would prompt you to invoice the two products that ship, and then once you ship the third product, it would also in, uh, prompt you to invoice for that third product. If you want to avoid that altogether, what you, and you want to just have Odoo prompt you to invoice the order once all products have shipped, you have to change the shipping policy on the order. Here, standard default, it's going to say deliver each product when available. So if I sell three products, two of which are in stock, one which is not, and those three products, um, I have to ship them. And if I ship two of them, it Odoo will prompt me to ship the two that are in stock, and I'll create the back order for the third one. Um, it'll tell me it's ready. It will communicate to my logistics team. Hey, there's an order here. You know, two products are available. One is not. Uh, ship it. If I leave it as deliver all products at once, it will not communicate to my inventory team to ship that order until all the products are available. And if it doesn't communicate to my team to ship it until all products are available, that means it won't be shipped. Nothing will be shipped. And if nothing is shipped, then based on the invoicing policy I have configured, nothing will be invoiced or prompted to invoice. So that's how you can create that workflow. Let's take a look at what that looks like. Deliver all products at once. I'll go product A, B, oops, and C. So C obviously is not in stock. We just got that notification. And let's go ahead and just confirm deliver all products at once and confirm the order. And we'll see we have a delivery order created. Delivery order, when we check availability, you'll see it's waiting. That's important and I'm gonna show you in a second. Why is it waiting? Well, product A is reserved, meaning we have it in stock. It's reserved from the shelf and it's allocated it to this order. Same for product B, but product C is not. And here, when we go to the inventory uh, app, you'll see it's waiting. It's not ready to process. So your inventory team isn't gonna ship this order out until it's ready, uh, until we have that in stock. Now let's go ahead and actually create another order and let's leave the invoicing policy based off of delivery each product when available. And confirm in our delivery order when we look at it now you'll see it's ready that's a different status than the other one despite the fact that we still have zero quantities on hand here and what it's doing it's checking it lets me know these two are on hand it's giving me the option to validate so if I go to my inventory app you'll see here now I have one to process I have one to process this is a this is Odoo's way of communicating to the inventory team you have an order to process meaning based on the rules of shipping and based on the rules of invoicing, you have some product.
product in stock which needs to be shipped, you should click this button here and you should ship these products. And when I open it up and I go to validate, it's going to tell me you to apply it just to these the order, are these the quantities you want to reserve. And then it's going to tell me you have a back, you have to create a back order or you have the option to create a back order because there is a product on this delivery which is not in stock or you're fulfilling less than what has been demanded. And if you, you sh if you want to still manage the fulfillment of that, then you should create a back order and it will create a new record. And just like that, it ships out product A and B for sale order two. And it creates a third uh, a warehouse out 003 record here for John Doe for sale order two, which is a has a relationship to back order of warehouse out two for the remaining product C to be shipped. Now, when I go to my sales app and I look at my invoicing, I will see I have to invoice sale order two, but I'm only invoicing products A and B from sale order two. And you'll see C still is grayed out because it has not been delivered. And therefore, based on the invoicing policy, which is invoice on delivery, uh, it will not be invoiced. If I go ahead and create this invoice just to show you, it will invoice for products A and B only. And I can go ahead and validate it and proceed. Um, however, now let's go back here. You'll see in waiting, we still have sale order number one, which is, and it's not even prompting me to deliver it based on that shipping policy, is, which is only ship once all products are available. Now, if I go ahead and validate this, it would still allow me to process it, but it's not just because you can, you know, you can break that, that flow and still work ahead. It's not going to prevent you from, it's not going to, you know, cripple your, your process in that way. Um, but that's how that would work. Now, once I have a product here, once I update my product on hand for product C, and I go to inventory, and if you, every four minutes out of the box, your schedules will run, will run. And once they do, watch, it'll change to, to you have two to process. Now, automatically, it'll do checks to stock. So it'll realize, that, oh, product C's in stock now. And it reserves the quantities off the shelf, allocates them to those orders. And then those orders, based on the shipping policy, uh, become ready to ship. Because those all the units are now on hand that you need to ship the order. And if I go to two to process, let's look at sale order number one. I can uh, go ahead and validate the process less. Unreserved. That would then process those. So where sale order number one, if I go look here in sales, orders to invoice, sale order one is now listed as ready to invoice. And I can go ahead and proceed with creating my invoice and bill my client for this. Um, so that's in a nutshell how that would work. You can not, uh, you can only invoice then in this instance once all products have, are available and ready to ship. Um, I think that's the question that I had received on the initial invoicing video I created. If you need more clarity or you need me to drill deeper, then please reach out and let me know and I will do so. Thanks so much and uh, have a great day.